everyone, it's Lori Pinto from Lollipop Paper and Ink. So I had a few questions from people um, asking me about the one of the cards that I had in my October Lollipop Paper to Go class. And I had a, a rectangle and it had the stitched shape around it. Um, and I did that really easily, just using the Big Shot and using the stitched shape framework dies. I just used the square die. But I thought since it's in my class this month, I would um, do a little short video and uh, let you know how I did it. So just give me a sec and we'll get busy. Okay, I think we're all good now. Uh, so this is the card that I had included in my October lollipop paper to go. And um, this is the one that people were asking about because I do have two separate rectangles. They both have the stitched outline and I love the um, rectangle. So I actually use them more than I use my, my squares. But let's start and I'll show you how I did that. I just have my magnetic platform. I have one clear, pla clear, clear plate and you just put your paper down and you can use any size um, squ square that you want. I'm using the largest one here. So all I'm gonna do is run it through, and the trick is you just run it through till you hear that first click. You don't want the second one to go through. And pick it up, and there you go. So turn it over, turn it around 180 degrees because you don't want to send it, you don't want to just move the die and send it through again because uh, you'll be cutting off the top part again and you just worked hard so that you don't want to do that. Okay, so then I'm just lining it up with the little groove here. I don't, I think you can see it. Um, and just to make sure that it's, that it's straight and that it's exactly in the same, um, in the same line and you can you you can make it as long or, or as short as you want the rectangle so you just figure that out and you can just eyeball it and again you're just gonna send it through just the top part here the click send it back out again and there you go clean simple and you got your perfect shape for your next card project so that was it. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching. I hope that maybe you learned something and um, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up at the bottom here of the page and um, or comment below. I do love getting your comments. I try to respond to each and every one and um, I really do appreciate any comment that you make. Um, I also would love for you to visit my blog at lollipoppaperandink.com. I usually post several times a week and I have all my projects that um, maybe could inspire you or motivate you to try one for yourself, which is really what I hope that you do. Um, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel or even to my newsletter. And um, I get the newsletter out, I would say, two times a month maybe. Um, I'm trying to be better about that, but so hopefully I will. Anyway, I appreciate your um, watching today and taking the time out to visit. So I'll see you soon and um, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.